again. Let's talk shit about Pokemon Let's Go while we like just look at the demo that Nintendo made for children. The Pro Controller doesn't count. We're off to an amazing start. <laughs> yeah, it's turned my Pro Controller off. It, do it doesn't let you use that. Alright, give me a sec. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go take a piss. Be right back. Luigi, entertain them with your stares. Why do you look so upset? I'm just moving. I'm just going to the toilet. Alright. Back in like a minute. Haha, <laughs> Luigi, that's the best joke I've heard all day. Oh, Luigi, it's so witty and insightful. <laughs> Speaking of, I didn't need the mic. Speaking of, I'll be back in like another minute, because he's like sitting on the line and looking mournfully and he's like skittered downstairs, so I think he's hungry. I'll be back in like a literal minute. It's time when I meet the mic.
Hello. I'm back. He was hungry, because when I put his food down, he gave it a little squeak and went immediately to it. Light button. Are they both in? Can, is, can I not use both at the same time? I can't use both at the same time. Okay, fine, we'll do it this way. I don't have one of these things, fuck it. Or if I do, and it came with my Switch, I don't remember where I put it. Oh yeah, I should change the thing, shouldn't I? I thought I picked the Pikachu version. Fucker. Not that it matters. Mary Skelter, I forgot to talk about the actual game, didn't I? You did, yes. We were kind of wrapped up in, like, Giga Wrecker finishing and shit, I think. So by all means, go for it. Eevee is better anyway. No, uh, oh, wait, I, I, I hit down on the left, I put the left Joy-Con away. I hit down on the left Joy-Con stick and an A on the right, because it's like, you know, two Joy-Con games. No, it's the one. Because we're fucking weird. The game is a dungeon crawler, which means I'm currently playing two of those at the same time. Cough, cough. You've got some preferences, don't you? <laughs> Just do everything you can. Go have fun of Eevee. And then he just fucking legs it. I hear you, I hear that. Help. This is a really weird control scheme. I guess it's here? Down. Oh, I can't. Point it straight at the screen. Where you're joy-con. <laughs> Press A. Alright, there's no wild Pokemon fights. Because why would we ever do that? Why, w why would we have a game? I don't know how this works. I... <laughs> it, just, it just seemed to kind of go by itself. Let's see, this one doesn't allow you to make your own characters, it's more of a classic RPG in that aspect. Each character seems to have a map ability that allows you to do stuff like remove obstacles, so I bet certain dungeons require certain party members to progress. That by itself I don't mind if it has a thing where like... Characters not in the act in the active party still level up because if it if it has that then that's fine You can just switch anyone in and out as you like if not then that's kind of a rule <laughs> Excellent Oh wow, we got fucking everyone we even have a Pikachu anyway I actually probably should have checked that This one is smaller and lighter than the one we have you tucked it away in the Pokemon box you just stuffed it into the Pokemon box. This fuck, you get in there. Idea Factor is usually pretty good at still leveling up characters outside, if I recall correctly. They have been in the games I've played of theirs, just offhand. It's just like, you know, so I don't know if like that trend began before Miri Skelter or like after. Might have been before. I do not know how this works. I'm I'm just like like thrusting at the screen, and it's just kind of skewing to the side. I don't get it. <laughs> How did you make this work? Excellent. Right. How did you make it? What was wrong with just hitting the button and it just fucking goes? 
<laughs> what was wrong with that? I'm glad this is, this is a mutant offshoot that doesn't matter to anything else. I've only played it for like, I think the genuinely like five minutes, and I already hit like what it does. Like it's pretty and all that. Like it is damn pretty. I like the aesthetics and character models and all that. Why are you glowing? What's your deal? Oi. Where's your license? It's tiny. Nice. Okay, I guess small ring means better catch. Except they caught it anyway. <laughs> One interesting thing about the combat system is that this one character is always in the party but can't fight like the others. He, the only he in the game, in the party, because it's Idea Factory, is the only one that can use items and can't be targeted by enemies. You can also send him to protect another character, eating any damage to go in their way, but risks him getting stunned for a run. That's interesting. That's more involved than, in, like, random male characters have been in Compound Heart Idea Factory games. Omega Quintet, which was their first PS4 JRPG, it was like a regular standard turn-based one by Compile Heart, where it was about a team of idols fighting like demons, and you know I bought that shit, of course I did. And one of these awards, I mean, I don't know, is, is this a grading system in Pokemon? Like, where's my triple S rank? Can I get smoking sexy style? If I throw it at like the last pixel, does that get me smoking sexy style? Can I ask rank Viridian Forest? Extra small. What does that mean? <laughs> I guess it's just for giggles. Give me this shit. This is weird. This is on the sideline. I don't like how this is like. I do not like the system of one jo one Joy-Con held like this way. If I were to do it, I'd want to put like confirm and back buttons on like the shoulder ones and then have my thumb on the control stick instead of like having to constantly like switch like so I want to like the, the birds are singing but yeah like Omega Quintet had a random male character just because you know he has to be the, the focal point because god forbid you just be the idols directly and he was a fucking waster and I hated him because he was just a cunt all the time. Just whinging or whining or just being, I'm the straight man, but he wasn't funny. So having one of those that actually like does things in the gameplay is definitely a step up for Compile Heart Idea Factory. Another thing is the game encourages you to overkill enemies, having them weakness and getting crits. Hmm. Go on. That wasn't anything, that was just a catch. That causes the enemy to splatter blood on whatever character did the attack. Ah. Oh, that's right, isn't there like a blood haze? It's like a blood haze, blood rage mechanic? I remember reading that about it. Get five blood spiders on a single character and then this sort of super mode for a turn. Yeah, they, <laughs> they let it rip. I remember seeing that and going, Arr. So no one is dunning like explicitly like, over like killing enemies super hard to get like blood spray is actually like pretty rad. Actually, the thought occurs is I just realized what that symbol in the corner means. How do I let them in? Or can you not do it in? <laughs> I know there's like a two player mode thing in this. How do you let them in? There's a Psyduck. Let's beat the shit out of him. Oh, there are. Unless I didn't see that, I guess there are random battles. 
Yeah. Or you can get another character to er, lick the blood splatters off another character to get a character dependent effect. Sick. Also, again, since it's an idea factory game, there is an affinity system of affection and shit. Do you get to pick a girlfriend? Is there a wife who you can pick? Because if that's the case, then yeah, that's just basically the, the idea factory checklist. Pretty early in the game right now, and so far it's pretty promising. I mean, like, all that actually sounds pretty cool. Also, yes, I think you can pick a girl. Yep, down the checklist. <laughs> it's a good checklist, though. Yeah, I, I welcome that. Like that, like all you said is that like intrigues me more. I like, know, like the whole thing about like overkills and all that, and actually having like character specific obstacles and dungeons. Like that all sounds like pretty rad. Wait, why did you just get a level up? Uh, because catching things now gives the entire team experience. Because there's no battle, so if you catch them, you just get the experience points for it. How, how do we do this? Stop assaulting me, animals! Give me a sec. You're red. You're a Giga Lord. Apparently he's huge. He doesn't look any bigger than the last one. Can they break out? They can. Sick. They're probably gonna break out of that because I didn't get a ring on it. Or not. At any point you can just open the map, select a spot and the game just walks you there automatically, which is nice. That's really welcome. That's actually really nice. Also, there's FOEs. They aren't called that, obviously, but you know. I mean, you gotta. The ones that actually honestly exploded and all the memes about FOEs began. Even in whatever, FOE. They catch combo too. Like, once, you know, like, basically every dun other dungeon crawler, especially Japanese ones, just had to have FOEs. He's apparently, like, almost two feet bigger than the other one, or she is, and... She don't look it. Like, at all. Also, you get red in this game, but red and blue are in the game as NPCs. I mean, I guess that's just continuing, like, that's where Pokemon Masters got it from. Just continuing the habit. Let's fight, cunt. I do like this battle entry style. Battles are only trainers. So I'm saying. God, the Eevee having an actual voice sounds a bit weird. Sizzly slide. But of course you know, Flareon is the only fully evolved fire Pokemon that doesn't learn Solar Beam. But it does get Sizzly Slide. Go to hell, tiny child. Also, I mean, you got three Pokeballs. So you just, beat, you just get Pokeballs for beating trainers, it just kind of begs the question of what money is for. I guess buying items, but like, if there's no wild Pokemon battles, items are basically pointing this, because any trainer you can get, you can just fucking mulch them. Because like, it's Pokemon, that's what you do, you just hit the type where you just fucking mulch them and walk on. And then just to settle. Where's Y? Can you just the cries at Pokemon Mall? That's actually kind of nice for an open world Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Open world Pokemon thing. N no. No. Looks like I already adapted to using this one. Okay. This game seems like it's literally developed to not give you any enjoyment. Kinda get in that sense. By the way, that catch combo thing, get that high and you'll increase your chances to get a shiny. Post game, there's super trainers that show up on the map, and each one is the master of a species of Pokemon. And you gotta do them with that Pokemon. That's a neat concept. 
having to actually like fucking fight them with Pokemon. I'm being assaulted by rats. Go away, creature. But yeah, having like ones where you have to do there's one for every fucking Pokemon. I worked it out there. I almost had it. Reveal your secrets. There it is. You just had to wiggle the shit out of the thing. Alright, let's go. <laughs> yeah, fucking... Well, do this shit. You and I, let us duel. <laughs> Where are you going? Come back. Hello, small child. We're gonna gank the shit out of you. Do I have to talk to you? You're not a fighter. Let us go on this journey. Duel wheel. <laughs> I'm really good at this. I'm definitely not snapping my own brain in two. Only I count. Girls don't count. You can yeet your unwanted Pokemon, your unwanted mons, the Professor Oak, to get candies that improve your Pokemon stats. You can actually break this game in half. I respect that, at least. In that I like breaking games in half by just bullshitting stuff. Oh wow, you're so fucking dead. You are so boned. You are a bite to die. It's 2v1. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> Why does the Charmander not have a fire attack? Charmander doesn't learn Lember until like level 13, that's right. I thought they changed that though. But didn't they give him Ember earlier after like Gen 1? Is it to make Eevee seem special? -er? Damn. It's fucking with me, because I have the right Joy-Con for player 1 and the left one for player 2, but it's the other way around on screen. That's entirely of my own design. But still. <laughs> oh man, Gen 1. <laughs> remember Gen 1? I remember Gen 1. No poison point? That gen made me think Swift always hit even on Dig and Fly because of bugs. I mean, they kept that going forward, didn't they? Like, I remember in Gen 2, Swift could hit digging Pokemon, at least. I know, because it happened to me, and I thought, bullshit, you're cheating. Because I was, like, 5. Nope, I'm pretty sure it did. Only Gen 1. Hmm. Hello. God, this is like breaking my brain in two. Oh, sure enough, there you go. Just shake the Joy Con. Can they read? No, <laughs> player two is only allowed to follow. Can player two engage? No, player two can't engage. They can just harass. Don't worry, Captain. I've got him pinned down. <laughs> just checked only Jam 1. Oh, well, fuck me then. Yeah! <laughs> Sick. Fucking get him. Is it because we're both- I'm throwing them both at the same time? I can't just split the Pokemon in two. Or I can, and it becomes a Giga Pokemon. Ball. <laughs> Fucking. I, my kingdom for someone to play this entire game by themselves but with both players. And just do this for the entire game. 69, very nice. Let's just fuck up Psyducks and see if we can, like. Ha ha ha. Oi. You're interrupting my Psyduck hunt, you fucker. I think he also only has one. I was hoping to find a trainer that has like two to see if they send it both of them at the same time, or if it's always 2v1 in support mode. And just, just fuck him.
Rip. I don't know, why haven't we seen like any Caterpies or Wheels in this forest? It's all like Psyducks and Nidorans and shit. Even though they're not like... Unless they changed that for this and they added them into this forest. I have zero fucking memory for Pokemon Cries. <laughs> I can remember a decent bit of like the original 151 and like some like a good bit of Gen 2, but after that it's basically just yeah whatever. Except for the ones that are like a really standout like Cricketoon. Cause it's just like <laughs> it was like <laughs> and all that shit. From a sense like a design standpoint Go get him. Get him. Fuck him. Alright. Synchronized. Get on. Having to shake the things for every single throw is kind of a nuisance. I'm not someone who has like wrist problems or anything. Like I don't have, you know, like the sort of problems that would make it like difficult to do this. But just having to like constantly like raise point and then like throw and try and time it for a ring, it's just kind of like, or oh, you could just let me hit the fucking button like the other games do. <laughs> Diglett and Dugdrio were just fucking ingredient. Let's try and get a shiny Psyduck in the demo. Get him. Fuck him. I don't quite know how to aim. I still had the thought of maybe playing this game someday, but after watching you play this for 20 minutes, I lost every desire to do so. <laughs> I'm glad to save you money, yeah, Mamli. <laughs> I was there once, I was like, you know, it looks aesthetically good. Like, the ki like the art style is great, the character models are nice, and like, the whole trainer sweep in thing is cute and all that. And... I'm not of them playing it, it's just kind of like... You know, it's just kind of like... Uh... It's like I would not be able to stand the whole game with this. Not just my perverse two-player... You know, one-player, two-controllers thing I have going on here, just... Even though I was playing it like any sort of sensible or seeing human being, I would not be able to tolerate it. I can see it, just let me pick it up. I'm on you. Sister of mine. Circle around, get him. I'm basically just playing as the fuck about at this point. I wonder what the thing is. I wonder if your grade is like the maximum or if like excellent is the maximum. Why can't you fight the Pokemon? Why aren't you allowed to have fun? Don't you understand the memory? You see, the kids, they are playing the smartphone games these days. And that means they don't have the time or patience to play the video game. Kids don't want to play the game, they just want to waggle and then win. So we must like take all the stuff out to make it simple for kids. And then also we must reduce the amount of content on our games so that it doesn't last as long. So that people can move on and play other things. These are actual things Masuda said in an interview. In interviews about this game. Like he went he went into detail about how he want he, the, he wanted to reduce the amount of content in the game. So it had a, a like a shorter runtime, so that people could finish it quicker and move on. And it's just kinda like No. You fucking idiot. <laughs> like, no. It does have some nice things, even just from like this demo. Like, I agree with that. Like, not like again, like the aesthetics I, sp I specify because it, it looks nice. It like, genuinely looks nice. In some ways, like, I kind of prefer this art style to Sword and Shields, much as I like the way Sword and Shield looks because I have like realistic expectations for Game Freak's capabilities. But. Like, you know, there's also shit like, uh, what was it? 
the whole thing where, like, because the whole economy is based around, like, having, like, lots of Pokeballs and directly going to using Pokeballs to catch... It encourages catching lots of Pokemon, including just the same ones over and over again. Hi. Hello. Alright, we're doing this now. What are you just saying to me? This is so very clearly, uh, like, a lady trying to sound like a dog. Damn cute though. I will I will not deny. You make a cute dog noise lady, whoever you are. No, if only I could like, have a whimsicott here instead and be petting that, then we'd have like game of the year. Of last year or the year before. Do you not like that now? Why? That's a noise. Yo, high five. No, like, high five. Whack him. No? Okay. <laughs> uh. Learn kids, back in my day we had a buggy party tutorial as mess and we liked it. <laughs> Kids are able to play games. As a child, I played harder games than today. Children don't care about losing or wasting their time with endless repetition. For fuck's sake, as a kid, I like Bubsy. Kids don't care. You, like, speak directly to my soul because... Oh, for fuck's sake. I, too, liked Bubsy as a child. I regularly played Bubsy, too, because I was like, Yeah, I like Bubsy, too. This is the fun game. Get him. Send him. Like, they really don't care. Like, as a kid on the Super Nintendo, we had like a wild card disc system. So it would, you know, just pirate games on floppy disks. You put it into it, it would just load it into the Super Nintendo, off you go. And that meant that I played a lot of games that I either didn't have the reading ability to understand, and it was kind of like, I don't know what this means. Like, this is an RPG and I don't get it. Or this is like a, a movie reference game and I don't get it. Or it's like Sim City and I don't get it. Or it's a fucking Japanese game. That happened a lot because we just have Japanese game ROMs and it's like I don't know what any of this is. But I still play them. I still just bumble through and just, you know, fucking giggle about it. My first few Pokemon were all named Ah. <laughs> Getting them out of the box is a nightmare. <laughs> I remember the box system. Do you remember having to keep mental count of how many Pokemon were in your boxes? So that whenever you hit 20, you'd have to go and manually change it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be allowed to catch Pokemon if you didn't have like space in your team. I remember that. I remember being upset about that. I remember starting the fight with Articuno, having to run away because of that. Articuno vanishes and never respawns, so I had to, like, turn the game off and on again. Go all the way back out of Seamful Islands, swim to the nearest place, change the box, swim back, redo the whole dungeon. Block pushing puzzles and all. Back to the bird, and then fight the fucking bird. Oh, god, that was a fucking experience and a half. Oh, Gen 1 Pokemon. I still remember slowly teaching myself how to play Age of Empires without even properly knowing how to use a PC. Yeah, that's like, that's the thing, like, kids, especially if they have nothing better to do, will just sit down and go at something. They will make their own fun and like, trying to like, playing a bite with things, messing with it, seeing how it works, that's all fun to kids. That's actually, cause, like, that's literally like, what a lot of play is it's just figuring out the world like figuring out like a lot of educational stuff can be really fun because it's just teaching the mechanics of stuff not just rote memorization or making everything babyfied in some ways kids actually prefer things to have a bit of a challenge because you know that means there's things to learn and even if it frustrates them they especially will get that whole fuck yeah i know at nine i beat you thing because you know that's how kids are 
I started with Gen 1, and I think people who think Gen 1 was best are bloody nuts. They're fucking stupid. Like, that's just basically the long and short of it. No harm to you. I'm sure you have such memories of it, because I have such memories of it. You're fucking stupid if you think that was the best one. Like, maybe if you played the Gen 3 remakes, but in that sense, you're basically saying Gen 3 was the best one. Really. You know? <laughs> the Fire Rate Leaf Creator Gen 3, and you can't say otherwise. You think I'd be better at this? Wow. Well, you know, like at least by like Gen Two, things were like not falling apart at the seams, and they had like some level of refinements going on. Still problems, still like limitations and just design problems out the ass. But there was at least like an actual tangibly good game in there that was functional, and what didn't fucking explode. If you happen to, like, go to an area, then swim up and down, like, the side of Cinnabar Island just to make, make Safari Zone Pokemon spawn. <laughs> Once I, fi I figured that out by myself, but it's, and I thought it was intentional when I was a kid. Was it, if you, like, because I didn't know you could, like, make other things spawn there. Because I would always do, like, the Safari Zone and in Fuchsia City, then swim all the way to Cinnabar Island. Because, you know, hey, I can do that, I want to do that. And then I was discovered one day that Chansey attacked me on, like, the ocean side, like, the little rim of the island. And I was like, oh my god, it's a Chansey, it's that thing I couldn't catch in the Safari Zone. So I would just swim up and down there going, there's Safari Zone Pokemon here, yay! Gen 1 might not even cl be close to being the best, but it's still perfectly playable. I mean... It's playable. I don't know why perfectly playable. It's playable and all. It's just like the game is like basically held together by spit and prayer. Like it's so very easy to make Gen One break itself. It's not even funny. It does like an admirable job of keeping itself together in general, but the moment you do something even slightly unintended, it will just fuck itself in two. They will just break. Ah. Oh. I also just feel like, in general, how did you come to own this game? I don't. This is the demo. I'm on you. Also, hello, Chris. I'm just doing this to, to fill time. <laughs> Why are you playing the demo? Because I beat Giga Wrecker. I got to the end of Giga Wrecker in two hours, and I don't have like the energy or mental wherewithal. To go through and beat the whole thing again. Not not beat the whole thing. Go through and like get the alternate ending stuff today. So to like fill time for like an hour for giggles to keep talking. Uh I just threw this on and or just exploring the wonders of Pokemon Go and also just doing this because I'm I'm just fucking really good. Played the game one or two years ago and definitely enjoyed it. I would probably enjoy it too if I replayed it. It's just my whole point is like, I don't think you can rightly say, like, oh, that was the best. Even if you like, you personally prefer Kanto and all that. Just because like, nah, man, like it has so many genuine objective problems. I feel like you, if you want to say that, you could just say that about Fire Red and Leaf Green instead, you know? I guess like, you know, there is a thing to be said for just not so much nostalgia, but just genuinely loving Game Boy aesthetic and all that, because I can get that to a, to a degree. But I don't know. Is it, I just feel kind of nuts when people say Gen 1 is the best one. In terms of games, at least. If you say it in terms of, like, creatures, it's like, well, whatever. That's, that's just, like, personal opinion. This is the eternal duel. <laughs> I think I've already seen someone mad about... Uh... I think I've already seen someone mad about the, like, ice cream Pokemon, the, it's not ice cream, it's just general cream cake Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Doing the whole, like, it's the ice cream all over again, and it's kind of like, oh, just settle down. There's a definite benefit to having this Pokemon, absolutely. Like, uh, like, absolutely, because, like, for one, like, less Pokemon means you can focus more on the ones you have, so you can make a lot of them more relevant, you can give them more attention and all that. I've also never heard 
anyone say that the first games are the best. Some of them are out there. It is kind of veering. It's. I say that. It's, I feel like I've heard it enough times. It's a bit more than just random dick fuck a. Now that we we're talking about earlier the politics and games thing. I feel like it's a bit more than just random dick fuck a saying. It. I feel like enough people believe that. That it's a thing. It's the whole Gen Oneer thing, you know. That the whole like. The phrase basically sp springs up because there are people out there who are just like, yeah, it's objectively the best, go to hell. There's enough of it for me to go like, it has, it's a bit of a thing at least. Because there is like something that old Gen 1 or thing. I mean, admittedly a lot of the Gen 1 or thing is also people who stop playing at Gen 1 and then just say that anyway. That's right, both sort of learns these at the same time. If we're being, like, efficient, I would actually like, get rid of Leech Seed instead, because, you know, poison is useful for wearing some things die, and Sleep Powder is just... Oh, hey, well, wait, no. Except you don't have to fight things to catch them in this game, so what's the point of Sleep Fighter? I guess we're shutting down trainer battles, but they're already just punch the thing and watch it fall over. Harass that need around. Do it. Beat him up. Teach him the ways. There is a Bulbasaur in this forest. What do you know? Whatever that's worth. It's not... Because of the increased, like, scale of the trainers, it's not so much a problem, because, like, the map size still seems to be, like, fairly small and, like, similar to what it was. But the fact that because of the way the Joy-Con setup at least works, it's sort of, like, I can't reach the buttons while I have my finger on, like, the control stick. It's just kind of like... You can't use running shoes in this game, can you? And shit like that. You'd have, like, if I wanted to, like, do menu stuff, I had to stop and then go instead of just... Constantly being at it. Wait, get him. We're probably not getting a, a shiny Psyduck <laughs> in the demo. Not that I particularly wanted, but it was just seeing if it was possible since we're up to like 12 now. Synchronized bonus. I guess that's the thing. If you're like doing two players and there's like a synchronized bonus for doing it, that means you get more experience points for your shit if you both like do the right timing. And I say both. As it, you know, while well, it's just me sitting here by myself. So that, there's your hack. Play with two players, even if you're a single player, just to get extra experience points in, like, catching Pokemon. We're gonna fuck about and catch a few more Psyduck, and then we'll just go to the end, find Oak, and see what he wants. Which is probably just, thank you for doing the thing. Hey. What I don't understand what people complain about the ice Pokemon is it doesn't look like real ice cream. It just has a similar shape. I can understand that people complain about Blastoise having real cannons coming out of its shell. Yeah. Damn. He owned me. I, I don't even know how. Damn, he owned me again. He's a god. Like, you're right, because it is just shaped like one, and it looks more just like a lump of snow and ice, because that's what it is. But, people are weird. What was the key one, the key ring Pokemon named again? I forgot his name, because that was the same gen, I remember people taking the piss about that one, going, it's just like a key ring, and it's like, yeah, Voltorb is just a Pokeball without a dot. Yeah, you know, like they've been doing this sort of thing for ages. At least the key ring is like kind of like a funny looking design. And then the stuff like Cliff Key, that's the one, yeah. My ability to retain the names of Pokemon is like genuinely descended as I've like cared less about catching them all. It's Clef Key with an I, ah. Fucking wise. <laughs> no rhyme or reason to it. Voltorb is a mimic. 
This is true. It is a mimic enemy because it it and Electra would fucking jump you sometimes, and especially in the power plant. But the point counter remains where like you know, it it's not a mimic in the sense that it unfurls and like hideous spider legs and a, like a hell mall pop out. You know? It's just a ball that rolls at you and sometimes explodes. Come with me. We must proceed together. It's fine, I got him. What else was there? Bonus multiplier four point five. Let's see if we can get like these and the evolve in the demo. Actually, I don't see why they wouldn't have that, but I'm just kind of curious. I'm also wondering like how many, how much of a combo you need for like shinies to start up here. I guess the point is they're shiny, so they're going to be rare any which way. Can you leave this area at all? Like Oak said, he's at the very end of it, so I assume that once you reach the end of the forest, he just goes like, "You're done. Buy the real game." And I assume we can't leave at the front. Also, for as much as I love Dugtrio and Magnetron, it's just, hey, take the base mon and make it three of them. Not the most complicated thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny, though. Like, that is, like, that is, they are memorable designs just for how, like, out there it is. Like, it's just three of them just magnetize the gallery. Yeah, no, there's not even a menu saying, oh no, I can't do that. It just doesn't happen. Let's catch the biggin. Well, I say biggin. The alleged biggin. Is there a point to holding A on both of my Joy-Cons to make a catch when the catch rate's so high? I am really glad Game Freak dropped the whole Dog Trio is always angry thing. Much better when it isn't. When did they drop that? I've never, I've never looked at Dog Trio enough to notice actually, but I'm kind of curious. Like, when did they drop that? Rip. So I know Gen One had it. Because right now, for recent gens didn't. It's tiny. <laughs> it's exactly the same fucking size on screen. At least in the main games, like the Gorgeists, which have like explicit different sizes, were like visibly different sizes. Sixteen. Gorgeist XL was the best because it had the best defensive stats. Fucking send him. Damn, I've been owned. Alright, attack. Do it. Get him. You know, I'm kind of curious. Gen 1 was angry, Gen 2 wasn't, but Gen 3 was angry again. <laughs> He's had a roller coaster, that Doug Trio. So was 4. So was it Gen 5 that he wasn't angry then? Or was it the shift to 3D that he wasn't angry? Then all the 3D ones dropped it completely, it seems. Okay. Gotta save, like, rendering. Like, rendering some extra polygons for the eyebrows. I'm not even paying too much attention to the game, and it still manages to bore me. <laughs> uh, it, it, it just aggressively gets to you. Oh, yeah, that's right, I already fought you. Come here. Clone brethren of mine, let us walk. Get him. Oh, well, I'm not sure it was great visually, but goddamn, it's a travesty how bad it is. <laughs> 
How bad is it? I like beyond. I think like I'm oh, sorry. I call it a shiny one in Sun because it ha I just happened to stumble into it, but I never actually used the thing. Like what? Because I know like regular Dug Trio was like popular in competitive because of Arena Trap. So how how bad is a Lolan Dug Trio like the stand out from that? Dog Trio is a Pokemon that's literally made of damn paper. Oh boy. Balls. Yeah. You could just keep her on the screen. You don't have to keep making her teleport in every time. There used to be something here. There used to be like an invisible item here. Whoops. Oi. Come back. Lolan has less speed, bad for sweeper, for just 10 defense. Also, the ability only lowers opponent's speed when it gets hit. Also, yeah, no more, no arena trap. Well, shit. <laughs> so much for that, though. I kind of wish defense and special defense mattered a lot more than they do, because I know that like, tanking is somewhat viable in Pokemon. Not even somewhat. It's fairly viable in Pokemon, because, like, I had the washing machine Rotom, and that was fucking good at doing that. But... It is kind of like... I kind of wish they were mattered more. Because it, it's basically, if you don't have, like, gigatons of it, you're basically pointless, and have it's like a dump stat. I kind of wish it, like it mattered a bit more, like it, you know the defense thing weighed weighed more heavily. All right, the three of you should be evolving like right now. It's a needs to get hit ability on a Pokemon that's made of paper. Who thought of that? <laughs> it was like a gimmick thing where like it got supremely stronger because of that. Yay! Look at this, see the evolution animation by buying the game. Sick. They could excite this Pokemon, but they won't. You're a term. Regular Dug Trio doesn't have that great stats for nowadays, but Arena Trap is so damn potent that it makes Dug Trio really, really good by itself, to the point where it's been banned to the toughest tier in competitive. I wasn't aware they banned Dug Trio to, like, fucking Ubers. <laughs> I was gonna say like, what the fuck isn't banned to Ubers, and then I just in my head I just answered Talonflame. So you know the things we like versus the things that like I personally don't use. I don't personally like you know enough people go like I personally don't use this. It gets banned or kicked down, and if enough people use it, it's like I don't care how broken it is or how stupid it is. It's fine because I like it. And that's, that's why tier lists are bullshit. I was never a big fan of Charmeleons and Wartortle's designs. Wartortle's doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It just suddenly gains like fluffy ears and a fluffy tail and then they just go away. When it becomes Blastoise. Like it, it's, it feels out of place. Charmeleon I don't mind so much because it's like... It's obviously like halfway between... Like, it's, it's getting the charge art. You can tangibly see that it's getting the charge art. It's like spread at the point at the back of the head. And that will eventually split into two when, and become two points when it becomes Charizard. And it has more of Charizard's face and all that. From little soft baby Charmander. <laughs> Dragonair to Dragonite is a fucking travesty though. It is. It so very much is. To the point that when I had a Dragonair in Pokemon Crystal, I never evolved it. I was like, nah. I don't want Dragonite. It doesn't look as nice. So I just kept Dragonair forever. Which isn't bad, because Dragonair is actually decent enough. Especially in you know, Gen 2 when dragons were still like the fucking gods. Just in general. Psychic had been reined in by Dark existing, but dragons were still fucking gods. Even Steel resisting dragon wasn't enough to stop dragons from just being gods.
We have caught 20 Psyducks within 50 minutes. Remember Porygon? <laughs> I remember Porygon. That was a weird one. Don't really like it that much, honestly, but I love Porygon too. I'm quite fond of Porygon Z. Porygon Z, whatever. <laughs> Whichever one it is. In part because I used it at one point in Platinum, actually. Pokemon Platinum. As like my psychic attacker because I stumbled into being able to own it and I was like, oh fuck yeah, this thing is like pretty good for this stage of the game. Dratini and Dragonair are some of my favorite Pokemon. Yay. Dratini's quite cute and I rather like Dragonair's design. And then it just becomes that one. Alright, sis, go. Be free. Wait, hang on. It's interesting that both 2 and Z, Z or Z are viable in their own ways. That kind of. Alright. Flip them on the hand. Alright, it's because like, they have different abilities and shit that makes them like play differently. Wait, I mean, one of them is like based around like... Uh, what was it? I don't remember. It's because like, they have like roughly equivalent stats or something and then... Or something like that. I forget how it goes. Z Zed is an attacker of swords, two can be given Eevee a light and becomes- that's it. That's right. That happens to a lot, actually. Their stats are just way different, actually. Okay. What was it? It's like... Doublied? Like, it just lashes like, pre-evo, doublied? You can give that an Eevee a light and it becomes like a genuinely, like, viable alternative in its own right because it's just a super tank. And doesn't need to rely on you just last like a switching thing going on. You can just fucking like go like on a terror. Without Zed just tanks its own defense in favor of attack and speed. Also, Porygon has a recover. That's right. That was actually one of its tricks back in Gen One. It was like it and Alakazam were like the only like, natural learners of recover or something. Like them and like maybe Lapras also could learn it naturally. And that was like their trick, such as it was. Meow. A tank recover man is good. Two is basically a tanky boy that can still attack decently. Right enough, and like, actually, well, that works out pretty well. Yeah, recover, Eevee light, and then decent attack. God bless. Thunder Wave is quite good. Yeah, fuck. I don't know why I'm like, trying to do it like any of this matters and the demo's not like about to be over. The bubble sword comes. Let's go with yes. Eevee just shouts, BYE! <laughs> 26 Pokemon, like 22 of them were fucking Psyduck. God, the bloom on him. It actually like, fucked my eyes there. When I was a kid, I didn't like any moves that weren't attacks. I was a damn fool. I mean, this is kind of how, you have, how it is when you're a kid, because it's like... Especially me in game Pokemon, you don't need status moves. Like, at most, you need, like, hypnosis or sleep powder or some form of, like, paralysis or sleep to just, like, make catching Pokemon easier. But for actually fighting stuff, you could just jam on, like, your best attack and win. As long as you made sure to roughly, like, either, like, at least not be at a type disadvantage, at least. Press home. So just, it's basically saying, just fuck off. You want to replay the demo? You have to just, just reset the game. Um... Well, that will be us for the night, I think. <laughs> just, why not? It was sitting there, so fuck it. You use moves that aren't attacks now. 
Like a coward? <laughs> yeah, that thanks for playing font is just kinda... It's very standard, isn't it? It's not like... Flashy or anything. <laughs> Real man use Whimsicott and don't give it any actual attacks. You just give it Stun Spore, Encore, Double Team, and like fucking whatever your last preference is. Something to just be really annoying. It can be like fucking Cotton Spore or whatever the hell. And basically, you just forever trap Pokemon in loops where they're paralyzed and Encore in using like useless attacks on you. As you just dance their waste and their time doing nothing. For real though, give your Whims a Cop Moonblast. And then just watch him slay dragons and laugh. My Let's Go Eevee review. It looks very nice, but it's even more boring. I would like it to let's go away. <laughs> That's pretty much the best way to put it. <laughs> let's go away. I mean, that's my morbid curiosity to see it. I at one point was considering, you, know, you could just get it if you could find it on cheap, or if you were that desperate for a Pokemon thing, if it's like Sword was making you super hyped. I'm not really super hyped for Sword, but I'm interested enough to buy it, because I'm just like, yeah, Pokemon, I've got the hankering. And I'm absolutely glad I never just said, fuck it, let's give and try, let's go, because, Jesus, that's kind of dire. Like, even as an introduction to this series, that's just too, like, Dumb. It's just too dumb, down, too simplistic, too nothing. Like, it, it doesn't really work. I was gonna buy shield, then something happened. Sword and I. I wonder what that could be, Hammer. You're in good company. But, uh. Yeah. So that's Pokemon Let's Go. This is fuck. <laughs> I see Hammer is a man of culture as well. Mm -hmm. We all know the score around here. I say I, say I was gonna buy, but let's be real, I'd probably wait for Ultra Sword and Shield anyway. I'll probably just get both, fuck it. <laughs> As in, like, regular and then Ultra. Not like I'm gonna buy both Sword and Shield. Yeah, that that will do us for the night. That brings us neatly to like midnight. I like well, I have no time concerns because I'm not in the morning or Friday. It's even so, like yeah, I'll close it off here for the night, especially since tonight at like, one a.m. for Mamley, <laughs> and I just made him watch it. I mean, hey, at least you shouldn't have trouble going to sleep, Mamley. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna say Saturday, maybe like. No, actually, hang on. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, it's so like Friday, Saturday. One of the two. Friday night, probably. We'll come back to Giga Wrecker and like go for the alternate ending. Giga Wrecker alt ending. And uh, after that, it'll be Hard West. So yeah. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go find my cat. Because he hasn't made a noise in a while. I'm afraid he might be destroying things. Alright. See you. <laughs> Oh, the beeps. <laughs>